Hi everyone. Let me tell you how important <clears throat> this message is. When connecting with spirit, I can say it's like, imagine being in a house and you have a baby and they're newborn and that baby keeps crying and it won't stop crying. You can't ignore that baby. You have to get up and feed that baby the bottle, right? That is how I feel right at this right exact moment. So as I'm laying down in my bed, I can't seem to get, like, I can't just sleep, you know. So I get up. You can tell. Didn't want to show my hair. Didn't want to do my makeup. <clears throat> but <clears throat> this message is so important. When will we heal from past love circumstances, relationships, marriages, babies, mothers, babies, fathers. Love is rough out here. A lot of people are hurt. The work I do every day shows me just how hurt everyone is. Every single time I do anything with healing, it's always with something to do with love. Past hurts, past relationships, someone cheating on someone, someone leaving someone just out of nowhere. Every time, it is always, always, always love. Ladies and gentlemen, I got up out of my bed to say this, so listen up. You will not be able to love someone else to start a new relationship and it to be healthy and good for you and a happy one unless you have healed from your past hurts. I can't make this any clearer to anyone. We need to heal from past hurt. Whether you were hurt by a family member, a person, a place, a thing, no matter what or who, how, when, where, why, whatever, if you don't heal from this, you will never be happy in a new relationship. The best gift you can give to your future lover is to be healed before you begin to love them. You gotta learn to love yourself. So ask yourself, when? When will it be? enough when will you stop repeating the same lessons over and over and over again when will you see if someone is not working with you they're working against you in a relationship friendship love even family if the resistance is constant and it never ends and it's just resistance and resistance and more resistance, you have to know, listen to me, you have to know this is a karmic cycle. You must leave immediately from it because if not, you will repeat this cycle over and over and over again. So ask yourself today, when will it be enough? When will I set boundaries for myself to be happy? When will I finally allow myself to be loved the way I deserve to be loved? When will I finally love myself and stop waiting for someone else to love me. Stop waiting for 
life to throw you a bone and go out and find that bone yourself, meaning find yourself, know yourself, know your worth, know who you are. Because if you don't do this internal healing and work, you will continue in a karmic battle with you and the universe. The universe will bring you the same lesson over and over and over again until it feels like you've learned that lesson. You are worth it. They are the damaged ones and they keep coming to you. There's nothing wrong with you. You're just trying to help someone who's hurt. But hurt people hurt people. So you need to be a healed person so you can heal people. Not be a hurt person trying to heal people. If you notice those relationships that you're in, you're always the one helping. You're always the one doing everything. You're always the one who has to be there for them constantly. But when it's time for them to be there for you, it's like you ask them to build a nuclear bomb to save your country. When you just ask them for a little bit of support. And you see how my hand was. One was straight, one was that way. That was by accident. So what I'm telling you is if two people are not like this, and one's like this, and one's like this, it's just going to, uh, you see, a block. Like two magnets that are both in the negative or both in the positive, And it's just, it has to be an equal balance, okay? So they can come together. When will... I'm going to ask again. When will it be enough for you? When are you going to see this person isn't for you? When are you going to see they not never going to find you worth what you need to find yourself worth? Because it, look, if you don't love yourself first... Let me just explain this very clearly. From someone who knows personally. If you don't love yourself, you're going to go look for love in all the wrong places. You know what I'm saying? So for you to be able to be happy in a relationship, you must go within. You must find out who you are. And you must find out what you really like instead of mixing your energy with all of these things that are not fitting into your life, into your schedule. You're just trying to cram them in there like, mm, mm, mm. it's like, dude, it's not going to work. Stop forcing it, man. Stop forcing these guys to like you. Stop forcing these girls to like you. Stop carrying hate for your baby daddy. Stop carrying hate for your baby mama. Stop carrying hate for your ex-boyfriend and his new girlfriend. Stop carrying hate for the dude that's fucking with the girl that you were fucking with 10 days ago. Forgiveness, man. It's a bitch to do it. But once you can really accomplish forgiveness in yourself and in others, your life will go so smoothly. You holding on to these grudges, thinking that this anger that you're holding on to, whatever it is that you're holding on to, is going to get you anywhere in life, it's just going to keep you in that karmic wheel, baby. If you want to keep turning like a rat or a hamster in the wheel, then keep doing what you're doing and follow the same exact cycle and the same exact patterns and you will get stuck on that wheel, never being able to jump off because it's spinning so fast out of control. You can't stop for a minute to realize that, you know what? I could jump off this anytime I want. Get a drink of water. Eat something. You're so busy... Worried about them and finding love. You forgot that in order for you to find love, you must first find yourself. You must first find the love in yourself. I know it's hard to be alone, but guess what? If you don't do it, you will never find out 
who you truly are and instead you will always see yourself for who someone else wants you to be and who someone else thinks you are and who you've already built up this character to be. Therefore, never knowing who you really are, giving yourself the time to examine yourself so that this way the next person that comes into your life, you can be fully healed and it can be a healthy love, not an obsessed love, not is he going to text me back, when is he going to call me, oh my God, does he love me, does he love me. If you got to keep asking yourself, does someone love you? The answer is hell no. If you got to say, I don't know if he's cheating, I don't know if he's cheating, I don't know if she's cheating, I don't know. The answer is they're probably cheating. Or you're just, this is not the person for you. This is like a way for God to show you. This person is not for you. When you find someone who's for you, I'm just going to tell you. You're going to know it. But give yourself some time. Give some time to yourself. You're going to know it if you give yourself time. If you focus on you instead of, will I fall in love? Am I ever going to find love? Am I ever going to get married? Am I going to have a kid? And then as soon as you meet somebody, you want to think about marriage 2.5 seconds later because you're so damaged from the past that you don't know. It's your questioning, your paranoia kicks in, now you're worried, you're checking their phones, you're acting like a psycho, you're... <sighs> the need to go within. It's not just meditating and all this spiritual nam yo ho renge kyo shit. That's not what I'm telling you. Take some time to yourself, man. Get to know you. Who are you? Who are you really? I can't stress this enough. I see a lot of people hurting here. And then I'm going to tell a lot of you other people out here. If you're going to be in a relationship, either stay loyal or stay single. Go have sex with 10 million people, but just be single. Why are you going to get in a relationship if you're going to cheat? Because when you get in a relationship... And you cheat 99% of the time. It's because you were never in love with this person in the first place. People who are in love with each other, they don't cheat on each other, homie. There's no mistakes. <laughs> Shit, there's no mistakes. When you're in love with somebody, there's no mistakes. You don't make a mistake because you love that person so much. Your gut could never let you be with someone else physically. Because you know you have this person that you love that much that you could never hurt them. You think of them before you think of yourself. That's what real love is. All you people out here that are hurting people and damaging them for the next person, remember what karma does. Everything you do comes back to you ten times fold. So be careful what you do unto others as you would have them do unto you. Be wary and forgive others who have trespassed against you and forgive yourself for the people you have trespassed against before as well. Self-love, self-forgiveness, stop worrying about what everybody else is doing, stop being nosy, stop being a shit talker, stop being a snitch, I don't know, stop doing these things because they're bringing you bad luck. I saw 12-12 and then 13-13. I don't know who this message is for, but I'm praying, I'm praying that a lot of people hear it because it's so vital to the human society. Love is fucking people up out here. Worse than families and, and, and child trauma, bruh. People get over child trauma. I know a lot of people that can't get over the love. The he cheated, he broke up with me, he did this, she did that. And it's not, I'm not, I, I was there too. But I'm saying to you, for all you out there that are watching this, do yourself a favor. If you want to be with a different multiple people, just be single and do it. Stop hurting people. Stop it. Or tell them ahead of time, look, I don't know, this ain't going to work. I hope this message hits somebody because I got woken up out of my bed. And was like, do it now. I was like, can I do it tomorrow? No. Nick, 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 nick. Get up, get up, get up. Say it, say it, say it. Focus on self-love. Self-worth. That's all you need to do. That's your job. Fix yourself so nobody else has to fix you. I pray that the love and light is sent everybody's way. And I pray that everyone can heal from these past hurts, whatever they are.
May God bring you all the angels and the blessings to help you heal and move forward from anything that you are feeling inside of your soul. Love and light to you all.